Hi, I'm Glenn Heemstra from Futurist.com. I'm annual Future in Review conference. And each year this conference picks out a number of early stage companies to be fire starters. And fire starters are selected because uh, it looks like they have a good chance of doing something significant in the world and also a chance of succeeding. And one of these companies uh, selected this year is GIST, uh, G-I-S-T, Inc. Uh, in Seattle, I'm here with T.A. McCann, founder and CEO. And uh, here's my problem, which I believe you're trying to solve. I have many contacts. They're sort of randomly scattered around. I don't keep up with them. Uh, there's lots of information I'd like to know about them, and you're trying to solve that problem for me. That's right, we are. Thanks very much for having me, and we are really trying to solve that problem that many people have. One is their contacts are in many different places, so they may be in their email program, they might be in a social network, or they may be in other places. Second is behind each one of those contacts usually is a lot of information. There's tweets and Facebook posts and blogs and news and all of that in other places. So what we're really trying to do is bring together people's contact lists, help them prioritize what's most important, and then do all those searches they would do normally to go out there against 50,000 news sources, 20 million blogs, Facebook, Twitter, or other places where there's content. So you can actually learn a lot more about the people you're interacting with. So in, in looking at the website, it looks like your, your product at this point is in, in a beta phase. So I, I could have downloaded it. I haven't done that yet. But, but uh, and th So that's where you are. H how is that testing coming along? Where are you in terms of actually launching a commercial product? Yeah, so we are, uh, we're in open beta. Uh, we went into open beta September of last year. So we're still sort of evolving the product vision and getting it to sort of the, the place where it works most of the time for most people for most scenarios. Uh, and we'll be launching sort of middle part of this year a commercial offering, uh, which will add on top of a free version of GIST. So there'll always be a free version of GIST. Really? And then there'll be free premium and pro coming out uh, sort of middle part of this year. That's, that's fantastic. And uh, it's, this, this product works sort of automatically. So if, I, if you've picked off a name from my, out of my email contact list or something, uh, the product then automatically tracks if, if they pop up in news somewhere and so on, or do I have to set different parameters and keep it kind of operating manually? Well, all of us are in business are super busy, right? We don't have a lot of time to continue to add things or send invitations or receive invitations. So you want a system that does that passively, that as you get a new email from someone or add, you add, someone, add someone to your contact list or connect with them on LinkedIn or otherwise, it's automatically added to GIST. And then we sent essentially a priority of that person, and then we do all those searches automatically too. So you can start your day looking at the GIST dashboard, and you can say, who in my network is doing something I need to be aware of? You could look at your calendar view of GIST and say, who am I meeting with today, and am I prepared for that meeting? And then when you engage with that person, you essentially have a 360 degree view, yeah. which includes yeah. news, blogs, yeah. tweets, Facebook updates, as well as your inbox, which is now centered around that person. So you can find all the emails from that person, links, attachments, and even shared contacts, all done automatically or passively. Yeah, that's, that's cool, because I'm constantly meeting with people, and they say, well, didn't you see that note yesterday, or didn't Absolutely. you know that I just did this, or this was just announced, and, and I know that I should know, but I don't. Absolutely. And so that, that's, that's a very cool thing. Who, who would you say is the market? Do you see individual consumers coming one by one? Do you have an enterprise kind of target or a combination of that? Well, we're v very focused today on the end user value. Uh, we, regardless of what size company we work for, we're all individuals building stronger relationships with other professionals. And so that's really our market. That tends to be people who are outwardly facing, sort of sales, business development, marketing, PR, people who have large contact lists uh, and are trying to learn the most that they can about those uh, particular contact lists. But all of us have sort of subsets. We have influencers in our business. We have customers. We have partners. We even have potential employees. So I use just in all of those particular ways to learn more about those people so that I can build stronger relationships for particular different types of success. And uh, how, how would you describe your go-to-market strategy? How are people going to learn about just is it going to be primarily a viral kind of thing or are you, do you have a sequence of things that you're doing to try to make people aware of this uh, product? Well, we've been fortunate to date that um, a lot of journalists actually have this problem. They're looking at oh, different course, influencers yeah. in different yeah. spaces. So they've had the problem of how do I prepare for an interview with the CEO? How do I know what influencers are in the sales 2.0 space? And do, can I figure out what they're all talking about so that I can make sure that my article is relevant? So we had a lot of success early and continue to have a lot of success with journalists. We also have most of the people who are attracted to just have very large contact lists. And because we put content in front of them and allow them to share it very easily, so on the GIST dashboard, I can one-click send an email, congratulations to you. 
I could one-click send a note about you to my sales team. I could one-click post that back to Facebook or to Twitter, at which point I'm building my relationship, but at the same time I'm promoting the service. And so we're primarily focused on that end user value, giving them that sort of information and then letting them spread the word because many of them have very large networks of people who also care about the same sorts of things. Well, it sounds like a really useful tool. I uh, look forward to getting uh, my own beta copy of it and, and trying it out. Uh, congratulations to uh, GIST and being a fire starter at the 2010 conference and uh, have fun at the conference and good luck with the product. Thank you very much.